how many new guys. Um, yeah, so I'm going to talk a little bit about vision, okay? It is time for a reformation movement. One that transforms our city to uphold Christian values of love and truth that ensure our city and its people are afforded every opportunity to achieve the fullness of their destinies. One that clearly shares the gospel in both spiritual and practical ways. One that equips Christians to share and live out their faith in every sphere of influence. One that encourages the citizens and provides them with hope for a good future. We need hope right now. One that sends Christians out empowered to help, to heal, to comfort, and to support the hurting. One that is bold and courageous, come on, and calls our city to a higher standard of loving one another. Amen. One that unites leaders to stand for both justice and righteousness. The very foundation of the throne of God. One that exemplifies love and mercy and solution-oriented approaches to the problems our community faces. And finally, one that is united in persevering until we are perfected as one so that the world will know that God has sent Jesus and has loved us and loves them even as he loves Jesus Christ. Amen. Our unifying together is the greatest testimony that the world will ever see. When they see us being willing to stay in it to win it and being willing to be perfected together, it is the greatest witness and the greatest evangelism tool that we have in our Holy Spirit toolkit. Come on. All right. Amen. That is where we are headed. That is what we've been doing. That is what we are doing. It is time to transform our city with Christ. Tonight we've heard real stories from diverse kingdom leaders, and now we will hear about the real investment required to impact Greater Lansing. There's a tangible way that you can help us accomplish this mission. Ten years ago, 550000 over the last 10 to 11 years, $550,000 was given to transform our city with Christ. Come on, give God a hand clap for that. Okay, so the, the church and the body is investing in our city because we care. These aren't just nice accolades or uh, words of encouragement that, that we're giving without money backing it up. A lot of money has been given. We are launching the Build a Bridge Fund to help us reach our dream goal of a $175,000 bu annual budget to increase unity and ministry impact in the marketplace. We're launching the Build a Bridge Fund to help us reach that amount and increase the unity of ministry in every single sphere of influence. The Build a Bridge campaign for diversity and unity within churches and cities in these precedented times. We need funds to support each of these seven pillars. These events don't just happen. Individuals, you know, the, the, the things they dropped off at Sparrow don't just grow on trees, right? It takes volunteers. It takes donations. It takes generous people. It takes individuals prompted by Holy Spirit to say, I'll give. I'll make a difference. I'll jump in. It takes that action piece. Amen? We need these funds to support each of these seven spheres that sustain the mission. 90% of what you give tonight will go towards ministry impact. Only 10% is on administrative costs. 90% will go towards ministry impact. 10% of this $175,000 budget will go towards the community. This includes funding ministry tools you've heard about earlier tonight such as ministry planting, serving events, Christian retreats, marketing, e-newsletters, Christian networking, social apps, and much, much more. You heard story after story about how these events that we put on and how these retreats that we facilitate and how this promotion that we do helps individuals connect 
and organically, as God connects these people together, things are birthed in our city, and our city and our culture is forever changed. Amen. I want to welcome Adam Williams up real quick. Yeah, hey. come on. I'm back <laughs> with a smile. He's going to walk you through the process. Yes of how you can partner with us tonight, because we can't do this without partners. Correct. And thank you, Stephanie, for sharing the, the heart of Kago. Yeah, my um, pleasure. The founder, one of the main founders of Kago. Um, and thank you for just staying in it as long as you have. So give it up for Stephanie. Yeah. My pleasure. So I'm honored to be able to even tell you guys how you can be a part of this investment tonight in a tangible way. We're going to unite to do the following. Tonight we prayed. Yes. Um, also, tonight, I even saw people in the chat post how can they serve and volunteer. Mm -hmm. So we are doing that tonight. And right now, as of this minute, we can all get to unite to give resources, to share resources for greater impact in our city. And so we can go further together to build the bridge for unity and diversity that we talked about tonight. Mm -hmm. um, those who are watching online, um, there is a website that you can give at using give dot cago network dot org again that's give dot cago network dot org it should be posted in the chat as well those who are in the room there's a pledge card on your tables um, with the similar format which is whether you're giving online you get to choose if you want to give at whatever level you choose if you want to give monthly and then you can type in your uh, or write in your credit card information so we can uh, bill you properly so we could also be uh, set up for a tax deductible um, amount at the end of the year. I forgot how that, that works yeah, out, but yeah. I'm here to help. <laughs> so with that, um, we get to also just conclude you in the updates and how you are making a big uh, contribution to our, our United mission to transform our cities with Christ. So thank you guys for being a part of the, the vision. Yeah, and I just want to say no donation is too small or too big. I heard a story w once from a ministry friend of mine that said, you know, we have this woman that gives $1 a month and she's done it for 45 years. The widow's might. There's something to be said for consistency. Yeah. There's something to be said for consistency. So we welcome both the large donor gifts, you know, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000, 75,000. But we also welcome those faithful small gifts of 15, 50, 75, 150 a month, whatever that looks like for you. It's the ongoing partners um, that, that are really helpful. And those larger seeds really help us to catalyze the the initiatives in each pillar. So, so yeah. thank you so much for ask Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, what do you want me to give? And then, and then obey and ask Holy Spirit this too. Holy Spirit, what do you want me to intentionally sow this seed for? Because in the Spirit, everything is seed. Okay? Everything is seed. The world was created with words. You, you, God said a thing and it manifests. It's the same thing with our giving. Okay, you're sowing a seed. I sowed a seed um, at a conference this last weekend for a very specific amount based on a very specific verse. I think it was 54.17. I had, we had an answer prayer within a week. Within a week, someone offered to pay for something that we were, um, had been praying for for four years, uh, a very large sum. And, and I'm not talking w health, wealth, and whatever, but what I am saying is God has a system set in place, a kingdom system, and it works. And he does say, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking again, uh, and running over. So please take just a moment right now and ask Holy Spirit, how much do you want me to give? How often do you want me to give? And what do you want me to sow this seed for? What's What kind of seed is this? Because I'm expecting a harvest. Amen. Um, so also I'll just say a thank you for our current donors and future donors, new donors yes. that are joining tonight. Um, we actually had a slide just to thank you guys, uh, give you honorable mentions. But we also get a, got a video from one of our national, actually global supporters, uh, who has about 300 networks globally around the world, just like Kago. So um, let's hear that in a minute. 
Christy Burke here with the Louise Palau Association team in Portland, Oregon. And it is my joy just to say, like Paul said to the Thessalonians, your faith is known everywhere. We support over 300 church movements like yours in the U.S. And you are doing a fantastic job. In this moment where our culture is divided, it is so significant for the church to live out her calling as a community that unites and not divides. And you are doing that through your collaborative partnerships. So I just want to encourage you pastors I know you're tired but don't give up executive directors I know you're having to pivot like crazy and you are meeting the needs in your community and business leaders while you have been the backbone of our communities and you're shining in this moment we see you so keep collaborating keep partnering shout out to Adam Williams for the incredible leadership of this network and to all Coggle supporters and partners keep it up and thank you guys for that clap <laughs> <laughs> um